My name is Duncan Wynn and I work for SpringSource as a systems engineer. The purpose of this presentation is to demonstrate some of the free monitoring solutions that can be used alongside Tomcat and TC Server to ensure your applications are running as expected. If you're spending the time and effort to create custom developed applications to help really differentiate your business, you need to make sure that you can manage and monitor those applications against your business goals. In this quick presentation, I'm going to cover some of the tooling that provides application monitoring to get insights into how your applications are behaving through a tool called Spring Insight and through the use of Google's Speed Tracer. Within VMware, there's a commercial version of Insight for the operations teams with a product called APM that contains some additional capabilities such as network monitoring. But for the purpose of this discussion, I'm focusing on the insights available to developers. Spring Insight and Speed Tracer aren't new. In fact, they've been around for quite a while now. But I meet developers time and time again who build Spring-based apps and really need insights into their code but just aren't aware of this capability. Coupled with that, VMware have recently released a Spring-based reference architecture demonstrating the capabilities of vFabric and modern UI technologies. And this is a great app to use as a demo as it combines a core MVC app with Spring integration and some asynchronous AMQP messaging at the back end. So as I'm sure you're aware, Spring really helps developers build and test enterprise applications more quickly and more reliably. But what happens when an application breaks? And more importantly, how are the infrastructure folk equipped to deal with that problem? When an application breaks, DevOps team will typically start to ask, is it, is it a network problem? Is there a bug in the application? Is the application looping? Or is there a memory leak? And with no insight into what's just occurred, they're really stuck. When you code to the Spring framework, you get significant benefits. You get insight, so code can be instrumented to provide fine-grained heuristic analysis. You get best practice design patterns that greatly simplify adding and removing components. And importantly for this discussion, the framework state gets exposed to monitoring tools such as Spring Insight. Spring Insight is a great technology for visualizing the runtime behavior of Java web applications. With Insight, you can perform deep dive analysis of your application whilst it's running without any code modifications or recompiling. Now that's really important. I've come across a lot of customers who try and build this level of instrumentation into their code base retrospectively at a significant cost and maintenance nightmare. Spring Insight uses AOP to do bytecode instrumentation on the application without the need for the development team to manually change the application code. We created Insight to give developers an easy way of verifying that an application runs as expected by understanding the runtime profile of an application, both the dev team and the ops team, or DevOps, can quickly gain the confidence needed to move the application to production. Spring Insight works really well with Tomcat, but it comes pre-bundled into TC Server Developer Edition, and I'll be using TC Server for the purpose of this demonstration. From a runtime perspective, TC Server is very much Tomcat under the covers, but amongst other value add, it has some great management enhancements at instance creation time. TC Server comes bundled with Spring Source Tool Suite, an Eclipse based IDE that contains all the Spring based plugins for Spring, Grails, and Ruby based projects. Spring Insight can be used with any Java or Grails web application, but it really comes into its own when used with the Spring based app. Let's say we're developing Spring Trader, a stock trading application. In this case, we, we want to see what really happens when we search for shares. Here I'm displaying the Spring Insight Recent Activity tab in the top window on the screen and the Spring Trader application in the bottom of the screen. When we search for VMware shares behind the scenes, Insight records all that activity. The Recent Activity tab shows a request timeline at the top of the page and here you can see the get stop quote web request that was just executed. Clicking on this request allows a deep dive analysis where you can use Insight to answer the questions what just happened. In essence it gives you that rear view mirror perspective. 
Each request is broken down into the major activity that it performs called endpoints. Here you can see the request, the web request that searched for the VMW stock symbol. Clicking on this endpoint gives us the stack trace for the specific request. From there we can drill into the details at any tier from the business logic right down to the database logic. Insight automatically exposes the operations taking the most amount of time and provides extremely detailed information such as this JDBC query string. Or, in the case of a class, it will show you the methods that are being called and the actual arguments being passed into and returned from that method. Web applications can have performance problems on the Java side or on the browser side. Spring Insight has teamed up with Google to give you application insight from both the front end to full visibility at the back end. Speed Tracer watches your browser just like Insight watches TC Server. Using Speed Tracer, you are able to get a much better picture from the perspective of the browser of where time is being spent in your application. It breaks down all the work associated with rendering a page in your browser, from parsing to layout. And this includes problems caused by JavaScript, CSS style recalculation, DOM event handling, network resource loading, and many more. Although Speed Tracer is a great tool for determining where CPU time is being spent within the browser process, it can't see into what the application itself is doing in the back end. For that, it really needs Spring Insight. The two products are now integrated so that you can view application trace data interleaved within Speed Tracer. Speed Tracer now not only shows you what happens in, within the browser, it also shows you what happens on the server. Let's go back into our Spring Trader application. Here I'm showing Speed Tracer in the top window and Spring Trader in the bottom window. We can turn on Speed Tracer on the top left here to record metrics. Now let's make a new stock purchase. We can start to view metrics based on the selected time window. We start by viewing some of the browser-based components. Then moving over to the Network Resources tab, this shows the requests made by the browser to the server. When you see a grey pillbox by the resource, you can click it to see Spring Insight trace data directly within Speed Tracer. From here, it's just a single click away to get back into Insight for a more detailed analysis. Insight integrates with STS, the Spring Source tool suite that is built on Eclipse. STS is an integrated developer environment and with its Spring Insight support pre-integrated, it's a great tool for developers to use to find and fix problems. To enable Spring Insight within STS, simply right click on the TC Server instance and open up the dashboard. Navigate to the Insight tab and make sure you select Enable Gathering of Metrics. So that's the end of this brief introduction of Spring Insight for TC Server and Tomcat. At Spring Source, we recognize that when you're developing for the enterprise, you need the best tools for taking applications into production. I've only demonstrated a few of the many features of Spring Insight, but you can easily get started by going to www.springsource.org forward slash insight where you can download the tooling and get involved with the Insight community.